Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man. All right, so we've had a couple of weeks now to decompress. Fan base has. Red Raiders obviously dropped that, that game um, in Lawrence against Kansas. Tough loss. I mean, there's no way around it. It was ugly. Can the Red Raiders rebound and go into Morgantown? Well, I know West Virginia's had their struggles, but we're talking about Morgantown. Uh, really tough venue to play at. Can they go in and get a win, get their first road victory of the season? It's possible. I mean, um, look, uh, they were favored by two, right. at least at the outside. I don't know where the line is now. Have you seen it yeah, change I much? I looked at it today, but yeah, they were, they were you know, about a uh, field goal favorite. Right, right. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's a possibility, uh, but, it, but it can go either way. Um, where is this team at mentally right yeah. now? I mean, that loss, the Baylor loss, uh, they've had a couple of really, in the way that you lose those games, right. that can really uh, take a toll on a team sometimes. So now I personally think that they, they probably, probably put that stuff behind them pretty well. They've had adequate time to do so. So it's probably one of those deals where the team that plays better and is the better team probably goes out there and wins the game. Yeah. Uh, and certainly West Virginia is no uh, world beater by any stretch right now. I mean, they're just honestly not that good. Hey, but Kansas wasn't either. Right. <laughs> you know, so. You can't was, take anybody lightly. I mean, come no, on. I, no. I mean, look, this, this tech team, frankly, is just not good enough that it can do that. So right. it's, uh, it's really kind of a coin toss. It really is. Yeah, I think this is big for the coaching staff, big for the program. They need a W. Sometimes you just, I mean, it doesn't matter how it comes, who it comes against, you need a W. And that's where I think this program finds itself after that, that tough loss to Kansas. Now, initially I saw this really as a coin toss. I mean, these two programs are in a very similar position on, on several different levels, including both being three and five and having lost several games in a row. That being said, I think Tech has a little bit of an advantage at the quarterback position. I like Jet Duffy better than I do Austin Kendall, to be honest. Yeah. But I, I would say that West Virginia probably has a better defense right now. Mm -hmm. So I, it was a coin toss. And I, I've been predicting I think West Virginia is going to win. But then I talked actually with West Virginia's publisher, uh, earsports.com, uh, earlier in the week, and they lost – They've lost 15 starters. They have, they're down to 15, uh, down 15 starters this week. So if Tech was ever going to win a road game in the Big 12 uh, this year, this was it, right? I mean, this would this would have been it. So uh, you know, everything's set up coming out of the bye week. Um, you have you have the advantage in the quarterback position. They're beat up. I think Tech has a good chance here. What do you think? Well, I mean, 15 starters down. <laughs> yeah, come that's on. That's unheard of, right? I yeah, mean, that's. I thought Texas was in a bad way. But West Virginia, whew. I don't know. There was one year, I think, under Tuberville where Tech was just ravaged by injury, similar yeah. to that, you know. But, yeah, you just don't see that very often. I mean, the main thing that you have to worry about, at least I do, uh, with West Virginia is there's their front line on defense. Uh, yeah. they got the Stills brothers. Now, assume those guys, no, they're going to play. Gonna play. Yeah. Well, if those guys are in there, yeah. then you got something to worry about. And so my deal is Texas Tech's offensive line, uh, has been up and down all year, like just about every position group on the team, right. to be perfectly honest. When they're good, they're pretty good. Yep. But when they're bad, they're pretty bad. So uh, they're going to need, to need to be on point in yep. this game because those guys up front for West Virginia are capable of dominating. And if you can't score, you really can't win. Right. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be looking at is that matchup, Tex O-line against their D-line. All right, Mighty Joe, 11 o'clock kickoff, Central Time, Texas Tech at Morgantown against West Virginia. Great opportunity to get a W, get back on the right track. Great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching and until next time.